City of Hamburgers by Mike Reese, pictures by Zeth Feinberg. Grandma Greta tucked Jeffrey into bed. Child, would you like me to tell you a story? she asked. Uh, yeah, I guess so, he said. Jeffrey loved his grandmother very much, but he didn't like her bedtime stories. They were always about fairies and princesses and slippers and kisses and a lot of the other things he never cared about. Once upon a time, Grandma Greta began, there was a fortress in a thicket surrounded by a moat. Jeffrey sighed. He was already lost. But in this fortress lived a wicked witch. A what? Jeffrey asked. A wicked witch! Oh, you know, an ugly woman with a wart on her nose. Oh, a witch! Jeffrey laughed. And his grandmother laughed, too. Grandma Greta said some things funny like, Wash your hands with warm water! But Jeffrey knew there were things he couldn't say either. When he said asparagus, it came out spaspargets. Well, why do you talk so different? Jeffrey asked. Well, English is not my first language. When I was a little girl, I lived in Germany, she explained. This was all news to Jeffrey. He didn't even know his grandmother was once a little girl. I was born in a city called Hamburg, she went on, and Jeffrey giggled. He couldn't believe anyone would call a city Hamburg. The city was called Hamburg, and everyone who lived there was a Hamburger. You lie, Jeffrey said. I wouldn't lie to my favorite grandson, said Grandma Greta. The mayor of the city was a hamburger, he asked. Yes, and the chief of police was a hamburger. Of course. Jeffrey was almost afraid to ask his next question. And... When you were a little girl? Oh, I was the prettiest little hamburger you ever saw, Grandma Greta giggled. Grandma Greta tried to get back to her story. Anyway, near the witch's fortress was a troll who lived under a drawbridge. Wait, 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 Jeffrey said. Was everyone in your family a hamburger? Of course, said Grandma Greta, who had never heard such silly questions in her life. My papa was a big, fat hamburger, and my mama was a sweet little hamburger, and there were twin baby hamburgers. Yum, said Jeffrey. He couldn't help himself. Um, well, what did you do when you were a little hamburger, Jeffrey asked. Did you, you know, lie on a plate all day? <coughs> Now it was Grandma's turn to be confused. She didn't know what Jeffrey was talking about. Well, I did what all little hamburgers did. I played hopscotch and tag and hide and seek. But best of all, every summer my father would take us to the beach. I used to lie out on the sun all day, Grandma Greta said. To toast your buns? <laughs> Jeffrey asked. Oh, don't talk nasty talk, his grandmother said sharply. But then she added in a whisper, Of course, in Hamburg, some ladies at the beach don't wear their tops. Wow, said Jeffrey. The rest of the year, I had to go to school just like you, said Grandma Greta. But I was a very poor student. Just like me, asked Jeffrey. Worse, said Grandma Greta. And they shared another laugh. My teacher was named Mr. Schnitzelbonhofer. What, he was so mean! Well, how come? His grandmother leaned in close. Because a bear once took a big bite out of him. Oh, said Jeffrey. The only part of school I really liked were the dances, Grandma Greta said. Jeffrey couldn't believe this either. His grandmother walked with a cane and moved very, very slowly. You used to dance? Oh, this relish, she said. 
There was one dance I will never, ever forget. I was wearing my prettiest dress, but no one asked me to dance, Grandma Greta said with a sigh. Why not? Jeffrey asked. All the boys were interested in my friend Helga, she replied. Helga was a real tomato, and I was so blue. Then the handsomest boy I ever saw came in. He walked right past Helga and asked me to dance, Grandma Greta said. And do you know who that boy was? Ronald McDonald's, Jeffrey guessed. Don't know. It was your Grandpa Gus. Oh, said Jeffrey. Was he a hamburger too? Of course not. Your grandpa was from Frankfurt, said his grandmother. He was a Frankfurter. People were shocked to see a hamburger dance with a Frankfurter. But we didn't care, said Grandma Greta. We danced and danced all night long. We danced until the cows came home. The story gets better and better, said Jeffrey. A year later, we got married, Grandma Greta went on. All the hamburgers sat on one side of the church, all the frankfurters sat on the other. That's a lot of hamburgers and frankfurters, said Jeffrey, licking his lips. Oh yes, it was such a big wedding, we held it in the Cologne Cathedral. At the wedding party, everyone put aside their differences. Hamburgers danced with Frankfurters. Frankfurters danced with Hamburgers, said Grandma Greta. Excitedly, what a wedding it was! It sounds wonderful, said Jeffrey, forgetting himself. Jeffrey had one question he just had to ask. Grandma Greta, when did you stop being a hamburger? Oh, when I came to this country. I wasn't a hamburger anymore, and your grandfather wasn't a frankfurter. We both became Americans. Good. I like you better this way, said Jeffrey, and he gave his grandmother a kiss. That was the best story I ever heard, said Jeffrey, and I understood every word. Well, it was all true, said his grandmother. Will you tell me another story tomorrow? Jeffrey asked. A true one? I'd love to, said Grandma Greta as she tucked him in. Would you like to hear about your mother and her sister when they were small fries? <laughs> yeah! Jeffrey said. The end.